Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this inspection camera made by GCR. Now this is a $146 inspection camera that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. Now also on Amazon, this thing has uh, three reviews with an average of five stars. So it seems like uh, at least the three people that have reviewed it, they seem to think this uh, thing here is pretty good. Now, if you guys remember, uh, probably when this video is going to get released, probably about a week or so ago, I actually reviewed a uh, kind of a lower end, about $80 um, GCR inspection camera also. And that thing seemed really excellent for the price. I was extremely surprised by it. Um, so hopefully this one, which is just a higher end one, this one I believe has the same operating system on it, but it has, I think, a bigger screen and some uh, better and bigger functions. So hopefully this one is going to also be worth the price. Now, the way I'm going to demonstrate this is I'm actually going to uh, pop out a spark plug from our 1967, I believe it is, uh, Plymouth uh, Fury 3. And it's actually been sitting for about 13 years. So we just want to take a look inside of the cylinder. Uh, just to make sure, you know, there's no rust or anything. And that'd be a good way to demonstrate this. So um, let's go ahead and start with showing you around the box. You can see here, the label for Amazon GCR. Also says Teslong on the front. I believe Teslong is who makes it, but GCR uh, sells it on Amazon. So there's that. Now also, it also comes in this uh, nice plastic case. That's something that the uh, uh, $80 lower end one didn't have. It just had a basic little case, but not a big not a big plastic one, so this is better. Uh, now I did notice actually when I took this out of the Amazon box, had one of these little latches missing on this side. It wasn't in the box or anything. So probably gonna contact the company about that, see if maybe they could just send me out a uh, little latch here, or maybe they'll just send me out a whole new case, who knows? So there's that. And that's pretty much it for the case. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there it is. Looks like here we have a user manual right there and then here it is so yeah it's definitely quite a bit bigger than the other one uh, maybe the screen's a little bit bigger but this whole kind of unit is definitely way bigger looks like that's where you connect the camera it's a different type of a uh, connection that's interesting looks like you have a little light here pretty cool also here have a charging cable which is a micro usb some little uh, hooks and stuff and then the actual uh, camera portion itself. And this I'm pretty sure is longer than the uh, lower end one that I reviewed, uh, again, like a week or so ago. Definitely seems a bit longer. And there's the end right there. You can see all the LEDs, pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug this into the top here. I'm also gonna turn this on, maybe give it a charge if it needs it. And I'm going to pop one of these spark plugs out of the Plymouth take a look inside the cylinder. All right, so currently what you're seeing is the video footage coming from the uh, little inspection camera. And you're also hearing the audio. Hopefully the audio sounds good. Um, now I also have the light on and we're about to put you guys inside the engine now. And this thing hasn't been running for 13 years, so I'm kind of interested on what we're gonna see. So let's go and try to put this down in there. There's the hole. And there it is. Not bad. There's the uh, valves. That's either intake or exhaust, I would assume. Yeah, so there it is. Not any rust at all, so that's uh, pretty good. Get you guys some close ups here. I'd say the video footage uh, quality is probably about as good as the cheaper lower end one that I reviewed. Again, from the same company, which is definitely not a bad thing at all. I think it's actually pretty uh, pretty darn good quality for the size of that camera on the end there. Definitely not bad. So there it is. Pretty cool. I'm also going to get some pictures while I'm in here because this thing uh, does have picture-taking capability. Uh, so I'm going to snap some pictures now. So let's go and end the video. All right, so I just took some photos, but I do want to point out one thing is that you can actually turn uh, down the brightness if you want. So I'm going to click the brightness button. 
you can see it just keeps getting darker. So in case it's too bright or if it's too dark in there, you can turn that down. And now you kind of see all the carbon on the uh, cylinder there. And then that's completely off. Obviously, you can't see anything. And then that is 100%. So there we are. Pretty cool. All right. So one thing that I forgot to mention is that this thing actually has a uh, second camera. It's actually on the side. So the one that you're looking at right now is the uh, top one goes straight and once I get you guys into the cylinder here which I am going to redo again get it in there there we are back in the cylinder now let's go ahead and go over to the second camera and you do that by pressing the little button here which I'll show in the uh, in the next clip but you press that button and now you're actually looking at the uh, the side, or actually no, you're looking more at the top now. So that's the valve right there. I'm pretty much right up against it. You kind of see in there. So that is really cool. Um, let's go, go back to the other camera. And then you're looking at the cylinder and the cylinder wall. And then back, you're looking at the uh, valves. And then down there to the uh, left is the uh, cylinder. So there you go. That is just awesome. I didn't even know it had that to be honest. Um, so that is a really nice feature. It's probably why it costs so much more. So there it is. Let's go ahead and flip it once more. Take you guys out. So there it was. Very cool. So let's go to move on to the next clip and I'm actually going to show you guys the different settings and the features that this thing has. All right, so now let's go over the different settings and how to use this thing. So first of all, to turn it on, just simply hold the power button right here, turns it on, and boom, it is on. Now I also wanna point out this thing actually has like backlit buttons, as you can see. So that is really cool. That's something, again, that the lower end one didn't have. Um, the lower end one also didn't have the uh, secondary camera, which is pretty cool. So anyways, this button here, right above the power button, is actually to change the brightness here on the end of the uh, on the camera itself. It'll turn off and on the LEDs or bring it down to like 25% and so on. Now to get in between the uh, different uh, like the video and the photo and to you know go back to your already recorded videos and stuff, you have to press the mode button. It is now in video mode. Press it again. And this goes back to the videos that you've already recorded. Let's actually see if we could play them back. All right, so one thing that I forgot to you mention can. is that this thing actually has a uh, second camera. So there we go. That is pretty cool. Let's go back, and then this brings it back to photo mode. Now, from here, you could also do a freeze frame. So I'm going to press OK, and boom, it is now freeze framed. Let's go ahead and unfreeze it, and it is back. And you could also flip the screen. So that is pretty cool. And you could also do that in video mode too. Let's just move it over here, why not? And now to uh, take a photo, you simply press that button, takes a photo. And to take a video, press that. And it is now taking a video as you can tell. It's gonna go back to the uh, photos. Now let's see if we go up, what does that do? Oh, that actually zooms in. That's pretty cool. So if you press the uh, up arrow, zooms in, that's 1.3, 1.5, and then normal. So that is quite nice. Now here are the settings. You could change resolution, timestamp, shutter sound, and the uh, auto power off, language, date and time, format, default settings, and versions. So pretty basic. Um, I believe this is actually the exact same operating system as the lower end one. It looks the exact same and it acts the exact same, except this one, you could actually change between those uh, side cameras, which you do by pressing this button here. And you press that button, it changes the view. That is the secondary camera. Now, I don't know what it's looking at, but it's looking at something. And then you press this to go back. Now, the reason why it's jittering like that is because I guess the end here is just kind of uneven right now and it's just jittering. You can see if I just hold it. I don't know why it's wobbling around so much, but it is. So that's why. And also on the side here, I'm just gonna turn it off. There you go. On the side here, you have a button here to swivel. You gotta press it just like that. You can swivel it which is very nice. And then you also have this 
uh, button here to turn on the little light right here, which is also something that the um, lower end one didn't have. So there you go, pretty cool. And that's really how to use it. You also have a little compartment down here, a little flap to uh, change out the batteries if you need to. And that is, that's really it. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely higher end than the uh, other one that I reviewed again a couple weeks back made by the same company. Um, this one is a little bit bigger, but it seems to have, of course, more features. I really like that secondary camera. That could be very useful. So if you're really looking for a uh, higher end one of those, uh, I would say this is not a bad choice at all. So um, I guess what I'm going to do now is go and stop this clip and I will uh, give you guys my final opinions. All right, so actually, before I give you my final opinions, right now I am going to put up a picture that this thing took um, of the uh, cylinder or cylinder walls. Um, so that is what you are seeing on your screen right now. Now, I would say it's actually pretty good quality. Um, and so is the video and the audio from the video sounds pretty decent too. Um, so definitely not bad. So um, overall, what do I think of this uh, inspection camera? I would say for the price, uh, if you want a uh, inspection camera that has two cameras and you know some better features, has a little flashlight built in and stuff, this is a really decent inspection camera. Now, if you want the lower end one, only has one camera, um, has I believe about the exact same size screen and has a couple less features, that would be a very good option too. Um, it's, it's definitely a still a really solid inspection camera and so is this thing. It just really depends on how much you are wanting to spend. If you want more features, you want uh, you know that light and the secondary camera and stuff, this would be a good option. But if you don't want that, go for the lower end one. Um, either way, they both seem like definitely very good inspection cameras again, but they're both at two different price points. So I'd say for what, $146 this was, it's not a bad choice at all. Seem to have done pretty good on photos, seem to have done pretty good on videos, and also pretty good on audio. Audio still kind of surprised me. It surprised me on the lower end one too. So um, definitely not a bad choice. So yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.